Well, 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 welcome to my mess. Welcome. You are welcome to my mess. I'm going to make another quilt square. I know it. You're getting bored with them. I, I'm going to keep making them anyway. Just a minute. i got to show you. Um, these three I just made here. I got the other ones out there in the other room because I'm adding beads and buttons to them. But this one, all this one is, is a piece of a tablecloth that I put, I stitched to one of the squares. That's all that is. But because I thought that was so pretty that it didn't need nothing else. Then this and this and so pretty. This and this here is gold, solid gold. I got it from Fort Knox, yeah. No, really, somebody sent it to me. But I put some lace and then uh, some fabric around and some lace and then put this on top of it, and that is a pretty square. And then this one is just a bunch of different um, linens and um, linens and um, doily pieces, some just pieces. Maybe they're all just pieces. And that's on that. And this one is kind of done the same way with just like pieces. Okay, well, I want to show you this. One. Well, I'm going to tape it just to see if it really works out like I'm hoping it will. I have this one friend. Her name's Barbara Batzer. And she sent me, a couple of years ago, she sent me this. She, she had drawn a um, picture of me and the hubster. Just a minute, let me show you. And she drew it and painted it or colored on it. or Well, there's even some wax on it. Um, and she drew it on a 12 by 12 handkerchief. And they were both on there side by side. Well, that was too big. It was too big. So then I said, well, maybe, let me put you down here to see, so you can see what I'm, what, what I've got on my mind right now. So you can see what I've got on my mind. Just a minute here. Okay, now here, I've got this here piece of fabric that is put onto the white piece, 10 by 10. And I don't know why this isn't stuck in there. It's supposed to be on there because it's like fusible batting, but it, it's all flat. I don't know how come it's not squishy. I thought it was going to be squishy. But anyway, so what I'm going to do now, see, they still don't fit completely. So they are going to wind up losing their feet. Their feet are going to be lost in the shuffle. So... I cut them each out independently, me and my hubster, and I'm kind of over flapping them, see? So hubster's hat is kind of over my purple hair, and I'm kind of holding hands with him, and that's the way that's just going to have to be. And so um, what I'm going to do then is I'm just going to pin this thing Barbara Betzer, I'm going to have to tag you in this so you can see what I did. Because I've been telling her I'm going to do something with that. But it's been just sitting up there, poked onto my bulletin board like forever. And so, and I hadn't done anything with it. And so I thought, well, now's my chance. Because I am finding a lot of the things that people have given me over the years are now getting used in my quilt. And so I am happy with this idea. I just cannot hardly wait till it's finished. And so, and I've got a few ladies that said, oh, I'm going to send you a square. Okay, and then I wanted to say too, now if you do not want to send me a square, but you've got some fabric, a little bit of fabric, just a little bit of fabric fitted an envelope. Um, you can send me some scraps of fabric, and I'll use your scraps of fabric that you send me on a, um, and make a square. And that will be your square. I can do that too. So there, I've got this now sort of pinned, and I'm going to have to, I don't really want to, but 
Won't leave, won't leave. But I'm going to cut their poor feet off. And their feet are going to get cut off. So now I'm going to use the... Can you still see me here? Okay, good. Um, okay, their poor feet. Their poor little feet. Why is that not coming off of there? Do I need a longer, a bigger thing? That's what I need. I need my bigger who's it or what's it or whatever it's called. This one. Let me see. That's what I just need. The bigger one. Oh, there we go. Now. So I'm going to just cut it to the 10 by 10 of the backing. The, the back square because I know I know that is 10 by 10 so I'm gonna just cut that so I have it the right size and um and hopefully I'll be happy I'll be happy I'm not kidding you. I'm, I'm always happy I don't know, I think it's my blood pressure pills makes me happy. Those are my happy pills, my blood pressure pills. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then one more smidgen on this side. I wonder if they make a... I've got some... Square, but the biggest square ruler I have is five by five, six by six. It's the biggest one I have, and um, I'm gonna have to wait and look and see if they got any that's just a wee bit bigger. Then I could, and especially when I get started on my crumb quilt. So I'm gonna look at that and see if I can find one a wee bit bigger from my chrome quilt because when I'm done with this one I'm going to start my chrome quilt and I talked about that the other day if you didn't hear me talk about the other day then you just do you some um, googling and see what chrome quilt is somebody told me about it and I was excited and so now okay now let me move us over to here and then I'll move these over here and move this over here and turn on that. What happened? I was cleaning in here. You know, when I'm cleaning, things just go. <sighs> things just. Just a minute. Gotta get my grabber. Got my grabber. That thing here. Because this one plug to my sewing machine. gets unloosened. Okay, is that right now? Oh no, it pulled right out of the sewing machine. Well, that's not good. Let's see. Just a minute now. Hold, hold your horses here a minute. Where is that? Oh, there it is. That's what I need. I need, I need some electrical juice to come to this machine. Oh! There we go. Now we're cooking. So what I'm going to do here is, um, what, see how cute my hair looks. It's in a ponytail. You know what I've been looking for? Let me show you. Oh, I don't have one right here. Oh, yeah, I do. You see this hair braid? You see this hair braid? This is the style of hair braid I'm looking for. A lot of people ask me, what What do you need? What do you need? I can send you what you need. And I always say, I don't need nothing. Don't send me nothing because I don't need nothing. I need these here, barrettes. But I don't think they make them long anymore. This one's about two inches long. Yeah, it's about two and a quarter inches long. And the ones I used to get were like about four inches long. And then you could put them in, in your hair back here and it let your hair just lay kind of flat you know, instead of a ponytail. If you all find someplace where these can be ordered, 
in the long five inches, send me a link. Send me a link to where I can find them because I searched the world over. Thought I found true love. You made another. <laughs> you was <laughs> no, but anyway, see, I'm serious as a heart attack. I searched over I for uh, these kind, and they're just metal. And these ones, this one's two and a quarter inches long, but I want one about four to five inches long. They'll go on the back of my head. And so I have like a flat ponytail. Okay, that was my advertisement and help me thing. Okay, okay, so now I'm going now I'm to see if I can really do this. What I want to do. Get me and the hubster all sewed together. All together now we are going to sew. Let's see. I want my width of my zigzag about this width. And then my length about this length. Okay. Now so. So now. It's been a great day. I had a nap. Naps is always good. I had a nice nap. Okay. Let's see. Now here's where we're going. I really thought this batting or this wadding was going to be puffy, but it's not puffy. I wonder if you got to wash it to make it puffy. Because it was puffy before I put it. Or you know what it could be? It could be that it's just so old. Because everything I have is old. See, it's, here's the stuff right here, and it's nice and puffy. But then when I put it on there, it's not puffy. It's called Quilters, Quilters Fusible Batting, Low Loft Polyester. Okay, so maybe it's supposed to be Low Loft. Um, hmm. Ideal for hand or machine quilting. Fusible may be washed out after quilting. Oh, well, why do you want to push it out? Okay, so that doesn't tell me nothing. But even still, this is going to be cool. I'm going to like this. Oh, I got to get my stick. This is about the best thing to do right here is use a, a, a skewer or a chopstick. When you want to make sure something gets under that needle, do not use your fingers. Holy smokes. I did that one time. Years ago, I was in the Girl Scouts. I was a girl. I wasn't a Girl Scout. I was a Girl Scout leader. And um, we were having our day camp. And for the week, you know, and ever, all the girls was at the day camp. And that was all nice and wonderful. And then we were getting ready for our the last day where everybody got their awards and stuff. And we had one lady, and she was the gopher. Anytime anybody needed something, she was there with her car and ready to go and pick up anything we needed, you know, because we was always needy. We always forgot something. And, um... And so we, I was making her a tote bag, a gopher, and I was putting a gopher on it. Now, down here in Florida, we call these big old fat turtles, we call them gophers. Now, I know in other places, gophers are four-legged fuzzy animals. Well, down here in Florida, we have gopher turtles. So I was applicating her on a gopher onto her gopher bag and I was making sure that it was just perfect and it was looking nice and, and I put her name on it and everything and boy if I didn't just sew my finger that needle from the sewing machine it was the same sewing machine it um just went right what it did what it did well what it did was taught me a lesson is what it did and um but it went through my fingernail and then it hit the bone and then it broke in three pieces 
Well, it was like going to be, now this has been long years ago. It was like in the 80s probably. And um, I was waiting for the hubster at the time, my, my then hubster. I was waiting, waiting for him to come home from work. You know, it wasn't long. That hurt. It, it hurt like I'd been, been run, run over by a locomotive. It hurt so bad. Well, so I had my finger just poked in a, um, I had a gallon jug of ass water. And I just had my finger poked into that jug of ass water. And, and it kind of took the pay, pain out until he got home. Because then I figured all he has to do is get pliers and pull that sucker out. That's all he has to do. How simple is that? Well, he come home and he, um, and he did just as I told him. He, um, pulled that, that needle out of my, um, finger. Because I just unscrewed it from the from the washing machine. This is not a washing machine. From the sewing machine and I um and I and I um so there I was with that needle sticking out of my finger and the ass work. And he put it out, he goes, Well, did you get the rest of the needle? I said, It ain't all there and he said, No, it's not all here. There's quite a bit of it missing. I says, well, dog, Donnie. And so, and it was still a hurting. It was hurting to beat the band. I'm telling you, it was not fun. And so, he carted me over to the emergency room. Because back then, there wasn't no, um, they wanted no after hours clinics and stuff like that. So he brought it me to the emergency room because it was an emergency, I'm telling you. And um, they had to do major surgery. They act, they removed my fingernail and dug down in there and got three pieces of needle so when it hit or maybe it was two pieces of needle it was three I don't remember because I was young spring chicken at the time but um and then they had to stitch me up and put a big old bandage on my finger and I come home and I finished that tote bag because I needed it for the next day to give my Mary Lou Paxson, that was her name too. I wonder if she's still around. She was the um she was the gopher. And that was her reward was her gopher bag. And um because we had to make our own, you know, we didn't have like reach and go buy trophies and stuff. So but yeah, I learned a very, very valuable lesson that day. And that's and I use like this is a skewer. And, and you can just use your skewer and if the and, and and then you can make sure that you know you use it like a finger to make sure all your pieces are accounted for and all your fingers and stuff are accounted for. Okay, let's see now. I've went all around the edges. Let me see what I want to do. I think I want to do more than that, though. I want to go... I've got all the way around the edges. So now I want to go... Like... Barbara, I hope you like what I'm doing with your beautiful... Beautiful stuff here. Okay, let's see. I'm, I'm glad this is a raggedy quilt because I sure am not doing anything professional. Somebody mentioned, I can't believe you're doing that with all raw edges. <laughs> but I am. I'm doing it with raw edges. I am doing it with raw edges. If it doesn't turn out real good, it's okay. It's mine. I'm not going to try and sell it to anybody, you know. If I tried to sell it to somebody, they would say, oh, my word. 
what a waste of time and money this was. But in my world, because I love things that are just, I just like crunchy things. You have to just walk through my house and you know. But, um, yeah, and so anyway, anyway, that's the way it goes. First your money, then your clothes. So, I'm just going up her draw lines. Maybe you should have a shorter, a shorter stick. You know, maybe I will make that a little shorter. That's better, because I keep poking myself. I think I did a, um, did I do a video this morning? With my, um, I think I did. With my Zentangly stuff. I think I did, but I'm not real sure. I don't ever remember those things. Gosh. When it comes time my, for, for my funeral, I'm probably gonna forget to attend. Yeah. Oh, we gotta get this hand. I see what I gotta do. Because we're holding hands here like romance, you know. Like romantic. The romantic couple we are. Where did I put my lip? Oh, there they are. Okay, so see, I got that there. Right there. And I gotta go up here now, around. See, I gotta get here. Well, I'll go down her arm first. Her arm, my arm. I gotta go down my arm. This is almost, this picture is. Oh, man, I just unthreaded my needle. I un unthreaded my needle. So let's, let's thread her up. Thread her up again. And um, get that threaded up again. This is, you know, um, probably this picture. Some people might think it was taken at Olin Mills because it's that good. Best portrait. Actually, you know, the best portrait I have of me and Papa? We were out at the Bush Gardens. Bush Gardens. It's down in Tampa, kind of south of us. And they make bush beer down there. But we didn't drink no beer because we're not beer drinkers. But we went and saw the Clydesdale horses and all the animals. They got many animals down there. But we had our picture made. You know how they make them pictures with like an airbrush and they make you look like all purdy and stuff? We was purdy. We was really, really purdy. And at the time, I was missing a, not I'm missing all my teeth, but I was missing a teeth back here. And But they made me smile and in the picture and I had all my teeth. I, I love that picture. It's still hanging in my bedroom. It was back in 20 years ago we had that made. Me and my daughter one time, me and Jennifer, we went and had, you know when, when Glamour Shots was all the rage? I don't know if you young folks remember that, but us old folks do because we all went and had our Glamour Shots made. And, um... And they fixed me up. <laughs> they fixed me up. And because um, they fix you up, they got all of these clothes you can put on. And they put makeup on. And they fix your hair. And I had one of the pictures I've got. I was all in white. I had white feathers. I had a white something. I had white gloves on. I had white pearls hanging from my gloves. I'll have to show you that picture one day. I think it's hanging on the wall. I don't know. That's when I said to my kids, I says, you know, sometimes when people has like a little memorial service or something, they, they don't put that like the actual people there. Well, no, the actual people would be dead. But um, they... <laughs> they put just pictures I said be sure and put that one that one that I had and then they'll think I always look like 
<laughs> good grief. And, um, now, now my hubster at the time, because it's been a long time ago, we did this. He said, you know what he said I looked like in that picture? He said, like, I look like, now, don't get embarrassed about this, but he said I looked like a madame or a madame from the house of ill repute. <laughs> I took that as a compliment. <laughs> oh, God knows. Oh, jeez. I got some memories, I'm telling you. I got some good memories of back in the day. And so when you start getting um, um, age, age of an age, you don't have to be that age. Just drag up all the memories from when you was a very young spring chicken and just concentrate on them and then you're um then you're young again because i remember that day when we was getting all purdied up and and man i had some they fixed me up they fixed me up man i well i did look like the monday i'll find it i'll find that picture one day and show you yeah It took a lot to get me looking like this right here. <laughs> oh, yeah. There was a time when I thought that makeup was everything. You know, they have to have your makeup and you got to look beautiful and all that stuff. I used to wear them fake eyelashes. And I put them fake eyelashes in. So, looks like my eyes is crossed. Do my little eyes look crossed too? When I look at myself, it looks like this one's going inward and this one's going forward. I don't know. But anyhow, what time is it? This is probably going to go to part two. Because why? Because I'm running my mouth. Okay, I'm going to... No, I still have more places I want to stitch this. If this if this goes overboard, it'll be on scene one, take two. No, it'll be part two. Oh, whatever. I don't know what it's going to be. Maybe I should go ahead and stop it now so that so that it won't um I like it. I think it's cool. I think it's I think it's that rather fantabulous. What do you think about that square? Barbara Batzer made me this. I'm gonna have to tag her. I think you just have to go at Barbara Batzer somehow. And then she's tagged in it. I'm not sure. But I want her to see what happened to her image she drew for me. I love it. It's beautiful. Okay, so now I'm going to read you. You are stronger than you know. Because I just have to read to you. Let's get open to... Did I read this one just... Okay, I don't think so. Remember what is most important. It's not having everything go right. It's facing whatever goes wrong. It's not being without fear. It's having the determination to go in spite of it. What is most important is not where you stand, but the direction you, you're going in. It's more than never having bad moments. It's knowing you are always bigger than the moment. It's believing you have already been given everything you need to handle life. It's not being able to rid the world of its injustices. It's being able to rise above them. It's the belief in your heart that there will always be more good than bad in the world. Remember to live just this one day and not add tomorrow's troubles to today's load. Remember that every day ends and brings a new tomorrow, full of exciting new things. Love what you do. Do the best you can and always remember how much you are loved. And that was writ written by Vicki M. Worsham. And she wrote some very good words. 
in this book. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to say so long, farewell, and I'm going to say God bless you and may he watch over you every step you take and every move you make and I will see you on the next video. God bless.